Weinstein file. You have to do that now? It's on top of the file cabinet, right there. Right there. Now, what else? What do I have to do to persuade you to go down there just to take a look? For what, a rummy, some old clothes? You really don't get it. What, what, that this guy committed some imaginary murder for clothes? I appreciate the way you feel, I really do. Please, don't patronize me. Okay, okay, but you know, I really believe you think you saw something in the hotel. Yes, I saw a murder. Fine, now, you remember? We went up and down the elevator, huh? What did we find? Now please, try to see it from my point of view. If there isn't a murder, then this guy isn't killing people. I mean, don't you understand? There is nothing else I can do. You're wrong. There was a murder. You just can't prove it. You're not, you're not going to give up on this, are you? No, I can't. OK. What is it you want me to do? Just go down there and take a look. Let me think about it, huh? Now, if you let me get back to my work, huh? do everything else was a dead end is this really that important you to maybe risk your life i had to prove i wasn't crazy well nobody ever said you were yes but i wasn't sure now i am i found the boots i found the man and i'm telling you i'm gonna find that floor what's the matter i wish you could see your face why well, you're so intense of course i am don't you see there's a story here you came here to write a travel article about this hotel are you kidding i can't write about croissants now the croissants won't bounce a pipe off your head Alan, why are you trying to stop me from doing this? Because I care. Alisher, there's a call for you. Thank you. Hello? It's Sergeant Madden. Yes? I went down there. Did you find the clothes? Oh, yeah. See, I was right. Well, let me ask you, did you take a good look at that stuff? Yes, of course. I mean outside, in the light. No, I didn't. Why? Stuff is junk. What do you mean? It's worthless. Burn. You know, scorched, like in a fire. Scorched? Yeah. So now we know, huh? You're barking up the wrong tree. Nobody's gonna kill people over garbage. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, looks like you were right. What do you mean? I should stick to croissants. That was the cop, wasn't it? It didn't pan out? Damn it. I know those boots came from this hotel. Probably the clothes, too. But where would a bum find burned clothes around here? I don't know. Maybe the incinerator? it look like? Hey, don't get snotty with me. Why not? Well, maybe I want to help. Bug off. When was the last time you had a decent meal? What do you care? Well, do you want one or not? You yanking my chain. Well, I'm not going to stand out here all night.
heard Letty Gordon pass through here. Haven't seen her. Anybody seen Letty? Anybody seen Letty? Sorry. Thanks. I thought I was getting something to eat. Hang on. Where are we going? We're going up. I don't think I like this. Dump is this. May I help you, Miss Callisher? Did a man come by here? Uh, a derelict. He's gone wearing an overcoat. Oh, yes, ma'am. There's people like that up and down this street all day long. No, no, I mean from inside the hotel. No, there's no way we let anyone like that in here. Could he have gone out a side door? He wouldn't have lasted two minutes. Someone would have grabbed him. Uh, is something wrong? I don't know. Back to you, there's someone here. Thank you. Judith, I need your help. What is it, Elaine? I've seen the man with the boots. Are you sure? Where? Here. In the hotel? Letty brought him in through the back. Well, what on earth for? I don't know. But I think he's still here. Come with me. someone in here? Yeah, I let a lot of people in here. The laundry service, the flower delivery. No, I mean one of the derelicts. Don't you have something better to do? Letty, you know how Mr. Rogas feels about encouraging those people. Look, no bum been in here. No. No, I saw you. You brought him right into the service door downstairs. Sweetie, I don't know what you're talking about. But if you don't mind, I'm one of the people who works around here. Well, I can see we're not going to get anywhere with you. I'm sorry. I'll take this up with Mr. Rogos. Where'd you take him, Lenny? Weren't you listening? You and I know better, don't we? I got him something to eat. Where? What does it matter where? It matters to me. The maintenance room. You didn't have time. I was just a few seconds behind you. You took him on the elevator, didn't you? What are you trying to do, get me canned? The poor guy was eating out of the garbage. Now, what would you do? For the love of... You can't even do a good turn around here without somebody getting into trouble. What's up there, Letty?
Would the plans for the Wessex Hotel be here? I'm Elaine Callisher. Oh, a writer. Traveler's Review. Oh, the Wessex. It's a great old hotel. My sister got married there. Why do you want to see the plans? I'm trying to find a 13th floor. Can I watch your step? There are 16 floors here. That's right. The hotel's only got 15. Are you sure? Yeah, I counted them. I don't understand that. What are you looking for? Rendering. Look. No, there's, there's something wrong with this. The freeze. There's a decorative frieze above the 12th floor. It's not on this drawing. You're right. Look, here it is. This is so strange. Why isn't it on the original? Well, this is interesting. The floor was sealed off. Sealed off? Why? I don't know. But the freeze was put up to cover it. When? The building was constructed in 1898, and the modification was done in October 1901. That's just three years later. Why would they change it so soon? Weird, isn't it? Is there a way to get on that floor? I don't know. There should be. Could you find out? I could try. I really appreciate that. Look, if you do find anything, would you call me up staying at the hotel? Yeah, sure, all right. Come in. City engineer's office. Damn. She probably knows. I think we better assume that. Get the others. There you go. I'd like to see you back here in three days. Should I come back later? No. Just. And uh, you might want to soak that, keep the swelling down. Be sure to take all those pills. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I, I was going to call you. I I've got reservations for tonight. I was right. What? There is a 13th floor. I've seen it. You're kidding. How'd you get up there? I didn't. I've seen the plans for the building. That floor was sealed off, and the freeze around the building is covering it. Good Lord. That means these people know. At least Rogus does. That's right. He lied, didn't he? So did Letty Gordon. They're protecting something. What? I don't know, but that floor was sealed off for some reason. Then maybe you really did see something. Elaine, you've got to stop this. I can't. I called a friend of mine in New York, and he's agreed to publish the story if I can get it. It's too dangerous. Alan, this is my chance. What chance? What are you talking about? It's crazy. I'm telling you, it's too dangerous. No more stalling. Time to send her up. Do you realize what you're saying? Yes. She's right, Mr. Rogas. I don't see that we have any other choice. Well, what do we say when they come looking for her? We're just going to have to take that chance. Wait a minute. So far, we've been very careful. 
We've only sent up people no one would look for. Yes, but that's before Miss Somebody started digging in our garden. Get it done, put her in the elevator. She doesn't really know what's going on. Yet. Wake up, Jake. She's no dummy. It's just a matter of time. Letty is right. This is something that we have to take care of now. Then we got big trouble. They'll be down on us like a ton of bricks. So what? By the time they find out, it'll be finished. That's exactly why we can't risk it. We are so close. We just have to wait. That's all. We just have to wait. I can't take it. Let me go! We're finished. If you put her on the elevator, they'll come looking for her. And if you don't, she'll figure it out. Can't you people see? There's only one thing to do. We gotta get out of here. But, sweetie, there is no way out of here. You knew that. But we're protecting him. Why isn't he protecting us? It's a matter of faith. You either believe or you don't. Take her up. went up to the 13th floor of the Wessex Hotel with a bunch of his friends. He took a fire axe off the wall and started swinging at everybody in sight. By the time the police got there, 16 people had been slaughtered. Yeah, so what is it you want from me? The files on the original investigation. <laughs> Are you serious? That was 90 years ago. I wasn't even a glint in my father's eye. In fact, my father wasn't even a glint. Come on, you keep records somewhere. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. Hey, you see this? This is all mine. This is real. And in about 15 minutes, Lieutenant's gonna be in here. And to tell you the truth, I am tired of looking at your face. What about Danny Bergen? Who the hell is Danny Bergen? The detective who investigated the case. He's got to be dead. I know. Just check in anyway. For what? For me. <laughs> OK, like I said, Bergen, Daniel E. Sergeant, died August 1943. Happy? Any kids? What difference does it make? You're a cop. They might know something. You married? No. I'm not surprised. OK, here it is. One son, Bergen, Thomas G., priest. File closed, computer off, click. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello? Where can I find Father Bergen? Come on up. There's a door over the 
side of the foyer. Stay there. Father? Hey, the G. Hit it again. Once more. That's it. Right on the button. I think it might be a little flat. Hit it again. Damn. Got a good ear. Musician? No, I'm a writer. I'm doing a story on the Avery Block murders. Then you're here about my father. Yes. Father? Bend over that ladder too long. Ruined my father's life. He was obsessed with that investigation. Obsessed? Why? Avery Block had a cult that believed in the power of evil. What does that have to do with the Wessex? And it was the tallest structure in the city, and somehow Block believed that it was a sign from Satan. How? It had a 13th floor. The devil's number. In his mind, the gateway to hell. Why did he slaughter all those people? Why? Because he was convinced that he could contact Satan through the taking of human lives. And when he had killed them, what then? Well, I suppose he believed he'd share Satan's power. Fathers, is that even possible? Yeah, the church feels... No, do you believe it? My father did. Spent the rest of his life looking for him. You see, they never found Block. Before my father died, he came to believe that Avery Block had made contact. I'm looking for Elaine Kalisher. I'm sorry, she's not here. Oh, um, when will she be back? I really don't know. Is there something I could help you with? Would you give this? No, on second thought, I better do it myself. It's really no trouble. No, thanks anyway. Uh, can I give her a message? Just tell her Gail Myers was looking for her. Desk. Yeah, the girl from the city engineer's office. Looking for Kalisher. I don't know, she wouldn't tell me. Elaine? Looking for something, sweetie? Well, uh, can you tell me where the service elevator is? What for? I understand you had a problem with it. Well, what's it to you? Uh, uh well, uh, I'm with the city engineer's office. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, we did have a little problem with it, but one of your guys came out and inspected it, but it's fixed now. Yes, I know. But I wanted to see it anyway. Now. Sure. 
Come on. No, I'll go myself. Sure, sweetie. Suit yourself. Two more to go. My glasses. Is anybody there? <gasps> Gaslight? What is this? I've had a little accident. Is anybody there? Can you help me? I've lost my glasses. What are you doing? <laughs> Found out that these murders were ritualistic.